5,000 companies displaying the latest advancements in racing technology, and uh, you're going to have fun. Uh, before I get too far, I just want to make a note here to kind of grab your cell phone. If you can turn on vibrate, we'd appreciate that. The motivation for us to organize this digital marketing conference is that I really believe that industries battle each other, and especially since the change in the economy in 2008, um, I believe every industry to do well for all the boats to kind of float, they have to kind of go after taking money, discretionary income away from other industries. I think racing competes uh, with the bass boat business. Um, I think it competes with jet skis. I think it competes with travel. I think when people have discretionary income and they're trying to figure out how to spend it, how to spend their lives, uh, what, what hobbies to pursue, racing has to go out there and give a message, and we have to grab them, and we have to bring that money in versus having that money spent someplace else. Um, when it comes to PRI and the magazine, what we try to do is, is motivate as best as possible and educate as best we can uh, the people in the business of racing so that we as an industry get better and better at competing. Uh, we have to go out there and promote, we have to go out there and merchandise, we have to go out there and sell, and we have to do the best we can on limited resources, and the resources became more limited after 2008. So this conference is kind of the pages of PRI coming alive. We appreciate the fact that you're all here. Uh, when it comes to digital marketing, uh, we're old media. But I want to say something good about old media. Uh, the magazine, uh, PRI Magazine, uh, we're about perspective. So a lot of the media, the print media that's really fallen on hard times, they're about the news, kind of what happened yesterday. Uh, they're about providing little details uh, uh, that you could read and, and figure out things. With PRI, we provide perspective. And what we've found is that the readership of PRI Magazine has remained as strong as it ever has been because people still enjoy the experience of just kind of going through the magazine, thinking about their businesses, trying to figure out life and their business life. They use PRI Magazine with the articles and then with the advertising to do all that. And so just so you know, in the age of the internet when print media is supposed to be dead, uh, our advertising sales have grown two years in a row. So I, I want to make sure I put that in, that uh, print media is alive, you just have to be selective and it still works. When it comes to digital media, uh, we use it. We're still learning how to use it. We have people that are going to be in this conference that are going to be taking notes, they're going to be listening to speakers, and they're going to be studying how we at PRI can do better. Um, the main thing I think when you're promoting is that you have to picture your customer, and you have to picture their brain as kind of limited real estate. And what you're fighting every year is trying to maintain your position when it comes to that real estate inside their minds. So when it comes for us to promote the show, when it comes for us to tell a story about PRI Magazine, we're always trying to do our best to grab attention when there's all these other elements trying to grab the attention of our customers, of our readers, of the people who attend the show. And so what we found is that with digital marketing, it helped us that way. It helped us go out there and stay in the minds of people that we want to attend the show, that we want to exhibit, that we want to advertise. And also, it's very important with the next generation coming into racing. There's a lot of talk about the next generation and getting them into racing, getting them away from uh, the laptop maybe or some of the apps, and getting them to do something kind of real and outdoors like going racing. And they're living here uh, online. So I know my kids, Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of things, they've been doing that for years. And so to get the next generation, the next generation of customers, uh, you have to be familiar with digital marketing. You have to use it. And what we've found, and, and we still want to do better, is that digital marketing is affordable. It, sometimes it seems like it's free. It's not exactly free because you have to develop expertise. It's effective. Uh, you can link up with people who are actually living their lives uh, you know, online, and you can keep them as your audience on a daily basis. And you have to make it part of your schedule. So there's one thing we've learned. It's that you kind of wake up in the morning and you go through your business day and you kind of look for little clues that something big happened to you that you want to express and share uh, with your customers. And so what you're going to find is that when it comes to digital marketing, it's something that's in your life every day. You want to implement and execute every day. 
And that's what we're doing. And it's kind of like we have a daily newspaper. And it's very much like you have a daily newspaper. So when it comes to being connected with your audience, you have to kind of look at it that way, that you have a racing business. That's one. That's the racing part is the biggest part. But you have to look at how you're communicating. And basically, you have your own daily newspaper. You kind of have your own daily TV show. Uh, so if we could do put the, the Facebook uh, image up, uh, what, what we're doing is uh, just to kind of show you how fast and how quick things can work, can you click it over to the image that we put up? So this is the part of developing urgency. This is the part of kind of looking at time as immediate, uh, daily, hourly, and staying connected with your customers. So when big things happen in your business, you just have to have this voice in your brain, this thing that pops up, I'm going to share this with everybody I know. They may not be standing here right now in my store, but I'm going to tell them something big is happening right now. And what we're doing right now with Facebook and putting this image up is that next year we want more people to attend the PRI trade show. We want more people to come to the seminars. And so there are people sitting at home right now, and maybe they didn't get on a plane. Maybe they kind of tight with their budget. They didn't know for sure if they should go to Orlando. But right now, this image is one of a million kind of moments of effort on our part to tell them, if you stay at home, you miss something big. You could be here, you could be coming to this conference, you could be learning something, you could be tuning up your business and being more successful and more profitable in 2013. So that's just an example of a way to create immediacy, urgency, using uh, digital marketing. Um, so that's what I have to say. Thank you all for coming. Our editor, Dan Schechner, is going to kind of be your guide through today. We'll go through to about 4.30 or 5. We have a couple breaks and lunch breaks, uh, or a lunch break. And then um, at the end, we'll have um, kind of an exhibitor reception out here. And you're welcome to kind of go grab a beer from there and come back in. And we hope to have all or as many speakers as we can here at the end of the day so you can kind of grab them and just have your own private conversation with them. So that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, Dan, I'll hand it over to you.